Okay, we have this 2003 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. It's a manual transmission. Customer's complaint is the column lock would not unlock. Steering wheel wouldn't turn. I was able to get it freed up, but I want to run through the Tech 2 and show you where you can look at the diagnostics on this. So I'm going to insert the key. Enter the Tech 2 diagnostics, pick the year 3 passenger car. Uh, we're going to go into the diagnostic circuit check and do a DTC class 2 check. Turn the key on, let it uh, scan all the modules. And you can see there, there are no codes currently set. So we'll go back, we'll go into the body system. Uh, we need to select the body, which is a Y, two-door coupe, manual trance, and we want to go into the BCM, and I want to go into special functions, into the output controls, and miscellaneous tests. Down here we have a steering column lock functional test, which will require you to uh, put a battery charger on the vehicle, lift the front of the vehicle up and run through a series of tests, automated tests, or we can go into the steering lock column check and here it says turn ignition off and remove key. Let's wait eight seconds between unlock and lock soft key selections. So pull the key out, hit enter, and um, I'm going to arrow up here twice we can see we have ignition off locked column feedback inactive so I'm going to lock you can hear a relay click I'm not sure if you can pick that up or not then I'm going to unlock and then lock so it's inactive so just something to be aware of now I'm going to go ahead and install the key and I'm going to turn the key on. And you see it says ignition on, unlocked, column feedback active. And that's it. If we try to lock the column, you'll see just one of these actuators states change. You can also hear the relay change states. And unlock. You do not see the column feedback change, you do not see the column lock state change, and you do not hear the actuator change. So I'm going to cycle the key off just to observe, observe uh, normal operation. Turn the key off. You see it says off, unlocked. Column feedback is active. It's still unlocked. As soon as I pull the key out, you're going to see key out state. And you heard the actuator work. And now it says ignition off locked, and the wheel is now locked. Key on, actuator works. Key out. You hear that activity, and now we're back in business. So that's basically it.